Guys, before today's video begins, make sure that if you're going to be buying Robux, you use my star code MATRIX whenever you do so. It helps support me and it helps create more videos. I like it, Kaji. <laughs> Yo, welcome back everybody to another episode of Drive City. Today on Roblox, we are here on our Poor to Rich account. And honestly, we got a lot to do today. We got a lot to talk about. I finally did some off-camera grinding. Not much, but a little bit. Um, I kind of got sick of driving the starter cars. So I decided to turn on the camera and get started on our second, or technically it's our third Poor to Rich. But this is like the second official one. So welcome back guys, more Poor to Rich. This is a big episode because we're finally buying a new car today and uh, apparently people know about this account um, everyone seems to recognize me already but we actually started talking to these guys a little bit about some new update stuff so I'm gonna go ahead today and get started with what car we want to buy and then I want to talk to you guys about the update we had last Friday and more importantly the update coming this week so that being said guys let's jump in and uh, let's take a look what do we want to do things have changed new cars have been added of course as you guys can see two new cars in this update we have the tesla model 3 this car is actually not too bad it's pretty good now you won't be able to see the stats because my head is kind of in the way but uh, we have the model 3 as well as the roadster people love this car i love this car it is now the second most expensive car in the entire game first one being the Bugatti still of course this car is by far the best it's just the quickest and has a uh, pretty much the best acceleration the Roadster has slightly better acceleration but a worse top speed so you kind of have to decide for yourself what you want but we have about a hundred thousand dollars and this car used to be insane guys you guys were grinding out the around the city race with this car and uh, after a little bit of tweaking we've made it a little more fair we also buffed up the price obviously we tweaked this car down a little bit and we also tweaked the around the city race down as well we made the rewards a little less but we added a new race the city showdown which if you didn't see my stream the city showdown race is so fun it is my favorite race out of all of them i think the around the city is quicker still to complete but the city showdown is a little bit more fair it's a little bit uh, i'd say it's a little easier even but it's longer it's the longest race we have right now either way the car i want to buy today is actually going to be the corvette we have just enough for it and uh the next step up will probably be like the lfa or maybe the porsche or something like that we might even go from the c7 right to the c8 i don't know but we we can't afford the c8 just yet so i think we will grab the c7 today and uh, we will make this our go-to car this is still a huge huge step up for us from where we were um, we could do the Shelby Python which has really really good acceleration but its top speed sucks so this car is more all-around good and I think it'll be a good choice for us so let's grab the c7 Corvette guys this is our first new car in Port to Rich and we can actually sell this as well so we can kind of just give ourselves a little bit of money and now we're at 30 grand but yeah here we go guys the c7 corvette i think this is a really good choice if you have just about a hundred thousand dollars but yeah let's change the color i kind of want to change things up make it a little custom let's go with like orange i think a nice orange would look good and then the secondary color uh i guess we will just keep the secondary black and then the wheels actually look good everything else looks good anyways i want to talk to you guys a little bit about this update we got the new cars we also have a new car pack for 4500 robux yes very expensive but you get three cars you get all the teslas except the cyber truck just the tesla roadster is 5 million so if you were to buy that with robux it would cost you like 6,000 robux and you're you're getting that plus two other cars for a pretty good deal 4500 is like saving like 2000 robux so if you wanted the roadster but you didn't want to grind and you didn't want to spend cash on it i think the tesla pack is a good deal either way we're gonna get into the city showdown this is the newest race in the game guys and this i like i said is my favorite race i think it's gonna be hard to make another race that is even better than this one but this one is just super balanced um people are still getting really good times i think the best time i saw was like 54 seconds which we didn't design this race to be that good so um we'll see what happens but 54 seconds is insane either way we're gonna get to the grind a lot of good people on this server some people have like a ton of miles already driven 2000 2000 6000 and then 15000 miles 
People are grinding. Now, I want to sit here while we're just kind of chilling. I want to talk to you guys about a new Drive City update that we've been thinking about. This is pretty big. Obviously, we want to add new cars all the time and new buildings, stuff like that. But more importantly, I want to talk to you guys about something a lot of people have asked for, leaderboards. Leaderboards is something a ton of people want and I think it would just it would make sense We would be able to catch like exploiters and people who are cheating as well And then you guys can kind of flex like whoever has the most miles whoever's the richest player stuff like that So at spawn what we were thinking of doing was adding a leaderboard of basically the richest players And then we'll have another leaderboard of the people with the most miles driven at each race We want to have a list of basically whoever has the best times so that people can compete for the best times times on the entire server. I thought that would be kind of cool. What do you guys think about leaderboards? It's something I've seen so many people ask for. Uh, but yeah, this car, I gotta get used to this Corvette. It's pretty fast. It's pretty fast, I'm not gonna lie. Um, all right, there we go. We only got $1,500. I've been grinding this one out a little bit. But anyways, let me show you guys what we added last week as well. Now, obviously, Drive City isn't just a racing game. We wanna have more buildings and roleplay elements. So one of the things we added was a mechanic shop. This isn't a functioning mechanic shop. It's just a shop that you guys can kind of like roleplay at. You guys can like drive your cars up here. Um, I think we still have to like tweak the design. Yeah, it's a little hard to do, but you get the point. Um, we're a little stuck, actually. Oh god. But yeah, that's pretty much the point of that. It's just a cool little mechanic shop building for when we add jobs and stuff like that. Um, we also changed the drag strip, as you guys can see. It is very very long and uh, we changed where it's located all that kind of stuff and we've just been adding new stuff like all the time literally every week we change things around we add more buildings we, we nerf we patch we add new content and uh, i think we want to go ahead and try to add a bunch more cars because people want more cars you always want a couple more cars and we kind of want to fill the gaps so there's some like price ranges that are huge like there's a car that goes from 400 right to 700 we want to add a car in between that like 600 or something so still a lot of stuff we got to tweak and tune but you guys get the point um we are working on some other buildings i don't want to give away everything but leaderboards cars and some new locations are coming in next week's updates and probably a bunch of patches as well so yeah stay tuned we also have over here uh, this is like a little farm. It's not complete obviously and uh, people ask like what is this added Kevin update thing and this is Kevin uh, one of the builders decided she wanted to have a uh a dinosaur <laughs> and name it Kevin so there's Kevin uh, that explains that for all of you people have been asking about customization and customization isn't super high on the priority list at the moment maybe we'll have like certain different types of mods like maybe we will have boost in the future like a boost kind of like nitrous mod but boost is something I know a lot of people want and it's something we're definitely gonna have in the future so don't worry boost is coming but here we go let's try a highway race uh, this guy's got the Bugatti, the Aventador, the Audi, and the A12. Okay, we're not gonna win this, but we'll see what happens at least. We added in a bunch of like sound effects too, if you guys can tell. Like when, when there's a countdown, there's a noise. Whenever you complete a checkpoint, there's a noise. And uh, yeah, we just, we added stuff that makes the game feel a lot better. And also the graphics. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the graphics have changed. And best of all, it doesn't affect performance. So everyone wins. The graphics are good and you can still run it completely fine. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad I got this car, man. We finally have a decent car to race with now, and uh, it feels good. It feels good. Almost 200 miles per hour top speed, so I'm happy about that. Um, you do get a pretty decent, like, amount of money by doing this race. Even if you don't win, just by driving that distance, you get probably a few thousand dollars just driving. So, this race is good to grind if you're just trying to relax, um, but if you want to make a lot of money, probably the city showdown, and if you want to be super competitive, probably the around the city. So those are the races. We still have the drag strip. People like to use that as well, but if there's a lot of really good players, the drag strip, it's hard to make money at. Um, but either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the second official episode. Technically, we've done three episodes, but the first one was just kind of introducing you guys to the game. So I don't know what to say. Either way, that basically sums it up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will continue to grind. I might even do a live stream or two of just us grinding. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see. I'm going to try to wrap this up with an around the city race. This one I find very fair. And uh, even guys in Bugattis and stuff like that, they, they don't always win. So this one is probably good if you're really good at the game and have good skills and you want to make money, but you don't have a fast car yet. This one is probably the best one, but 
Let's go. We got the guy in the Tesla. Bugatti. Okay, I am severely outmatched. Now, of course, the Tesla Model S did get a little bit of a nerf, but we did that because this race was so unfair with it for a while. It's still pretty... I wouldn't say it's unfair, but it's still pretty good. Like, the car is still really really competitive in this race so we'll see we'll see once we add leaderboards what kind of cars people are using to win with and then we'll figure it out from there but uh, this big turn this is the one that gets everybody you kind of have to be very careful because you still have to touch it but you don't want to get too wide of a turn see this tesla right here he's getting ahead of me come on um okay wait oh you can cut that corner so much holy smokes let's go let's go 40 Dang, 42. That's not too bad for me. And I got second... Third place? No, second place. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take that, man. We're already at 51 grand. So the grind continues. We will get some better cars very soon. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Port Rich. And I will see you guys for a new episode and a new update very soon. Let me know if there's anything you want in the update as well. I'll see you guys next time.